Hello creative friends, this is Joy coming to you with another art journal page. So here I was just pointing to this little panda here that I decided that I wanted to paint in my art journal. So here I'm just doing a quick pencil sketch of this panda to just quickly get the layout and design on my art journal page in preparation for doing the painting of this little panda. Um, I have been practicing painting animals in my art journal for some time now and have been having a lot of fun uh, doing these paintings and sharing them with everyone. And so uh, I just thought I would continue with um, this particular series, I guess you would call it, of painted animals. And I also decided to um, I had been thinking about doing kind of a mixed media art journal and then painting an, a an animal on that, which um, will be my next video. I decided to try that to put down some mixed media paper and then put it, painting an animal on that. So this is uh, the what I've been doing is drawing the animal and then quickly going around it with some watercolor paint to get some color on the background because I you know don't want to spend a lot of time really doing the background on this it's more focused on painting the animal and the having fun doing that and practicing that rather than you know messing around with painting a background so I've just been using watercolor paint just to quickly get that on there and then I put out some white paint and some black paint and then some apricot, uh, kind of an apricot color, because I noticed that this panda had a little bit of an orangey tone or color in some of its fur. So I'm quickly going through and just putting some black on the ears, and it just so happened, happy surprise, um, the background was still wet, and so um, some of the black paint kind of just... Um, I don't know if you noticed, but it kind of just dispersed into the the wet watercolor paint, which kind of gave a cool effect. So I thought, you know, I like that. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> so here I'm going through and um, trying to quickly get some color down on the face of the panda, adding um, some gray to the shadow areas and then some of that orange um, in some of the areas where I see orange in the picture and just um, trying to quickly get color down but making sure that I use the uh, bristles of the brush to pull away from the edges so that it gives at least the edges of this little panda um, somewhat of a uh, hair kind of texture around the edges um, of the uh, face and the ears and the body and then trying to as I'm kind of looking at the picture but then also thinking about you know where are my shadows going to be in this you know uh, animal putting in um, some gray to you know bring out sh where the shadows would be and some white to bring out where there may be highlights um, in this animal. So that's what I'm doing here is just quickly trying to get down some color um, and then I figured if I can get down the color first then I can go back in after and you know do some of the detail work with a, a smaller brush which is what I have here. I just grabbed a smaller kind of liner brush to do um, some of the more smaller detail work like the black around the eyes here and I'm trying uh, again to use the bristles to leave somewhat of a feathered effect on the edges um, so it looks more like hair and then putting in the, the nose and then the mouth And then I um, try to wipe off most of that black to where there's still a little bit on there where I can kind of put some whiskers and some other, you know, like darker um, 
coloring that um, I was seeing like around his nose and around his eyes. So that's what I was doing here with a very um, kind of dry brush trying to add a little bit more uh, interest and um, coloring around the uh, eyes and the nose and the face of, um, of this panda. And I did a couple of areas there. I kind of smudged the nose and got too black, but it was easy to just quickly clean up with a little bit of white and um, just going over it. And I mean, I'm not trying to be real particular. This is just me playing, having fun, enjoying the process, you know, of painting this panda which is what I like about art journaling because you can really kind of sit and just enjoy and play and have fun and not feel like that, um, you know, you're having to be real careful or too particular. And, uh, and it's kind of interesting when you're painting with black because you have to, black on black, you have to somehow put in some shadows and highlights so that you can kind of tell you know what where his paws and things are and of course you don't want to do that drop the paintbrush <laughs> on your page and just smear it everywhere which you know is happens quite often with me but I, I'm like whatever I'll cover it up later so to try to get the um, paws and stuff to stand out from the um, body um, I did kind of added in some a little bit of white to make a, a darker gray and uh, try to go around the edges with that I saw that he had some oranges uh, some a little bit of orange in his one paw so I was trying to add that in there and um, you'll see here in a minute for his arm and, and um, or well, I guess it would be his leg <laughs> For his leg, I, I tried to use like gray to kind of pull that in to differentiate between his body. And like right there, I put it in there really lighter than I wanted it to be, but I was not too concerned about that because you can always go over it and get it, make it darker. So, um, you know, which is what I'm doing here. I mean, I want to, you know, you want to be able to tell that there's you know the her, his legs and paws and body but um you know and that they stand out from the body and so that's just what I'm doing here is trying to add in some coloring um to that black to try to have it stand out and then here's the bottom part of his body that's white again. And it's not, you know, white isn't really white. There's all kinds of colors in white. Um, so I was going um, and painting kind of gray. And I put a little bit of orange in there, which, you know, ends up being a little too much. But then I just go over it um, with the white and the gray again. And I just kind of go back and forth until I'm happy with it. Um, so that's what I'm doing here with his um, lower body, is trying to get that in there. And um, I decided that what I would do is just uh, have him kind of sitting in some grass. So you'll see that here in a minute. And again, to make his eyes stand out, um, which are black, from the black, I first put some gray outline then the black eyes and then the couple white dots for the highlights I'm adding a little bit more um, white highlights to the nose to the eyes and then here going into the ears trying to add um, some highlighting uh, to the hair on the ears because you know it's not going to be completely black there's going to be some highlights there and then toning it down a little bit because I got a little too too light. Let's see. Okay, so here's where I bring out a couple different colors of green. And I 
paint the uh, leaves that he has in his mouth because he had some leaves sticking out of his mouth that he was eating and then start putting in the grass around him around the bottom of him that um, he's sitting in and so I'm just quickly going and that's where I figured that'll cover up that black that I dropped and <laughs> smeared everywhere so it's like you know I don't I've gotten to a point where you know when things like that happen I don't really freak out as much because I'm like yeah I'll cover it up and fix it later it's all everything's fixable or you can just embrace it. A lot of times I'll make a mistake and just decide it was a happy accident and embrace it. So it just depends. But in this situation, I figured it'd be easy enough to cover up. So I wasn't that concerned about it. So I'm putting in grass. And then I go and put in some more um, of the, I guess it's eucalyptus that they eat. And um, so putting some more of those in there with you know branches and leaves and stuff and I noticed that in um, that and those they had a little bit of kind of an orange in the stem so I also add a little bit of orange to that so that's what I'm doing here is just quickly putting that in there but this is pretty much the art journal page for today if you like this video you can hit the like button or if you want to see more of my art you can hit the subscribe button or you can leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. I really enjoy doing these little art journal pages and sharing them with everybody. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy watching them and seeing what I'm doing. I certainly like seeing what others are doing as well. So I'm just finishing up the last little bit. Uh, putting a few more uh, branches and leaves. And... Um, to just kind of add a little bit more to this uh, art journal page so I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching my video and supporting my channel thank you guys for watching bye bye